Oh, glory to God. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you tonight. Glory to God. I want to welcome every last one of you on tonight to this live broadcast where Jesus Christ is Lord of all. He is the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. There is no situation tonight that you may be facing that is too hard for our God tonight. Come on, let's just put our hands together and give our God a praise tonight. Come on, somebody. Give him praise. David said, let everything, glory, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Come on, someone type these words. Nothing is impossible with God. Come on, type those words right on the right on the offset tonight. Nothing is impossible with God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ on tonight, I lift your people up before you. We thank you again for allowing us to come into a new year, coming into a new season, coming into a new understanding of your plans for our lives. And as the word of God is teached tonight, God, I pray that your, your people will have an heir to hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. I pray that they would have a heart that would be receptive, a mind that would be focused on what thus said the Lord tonight. David said, your word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Break shackles tonight. Destroy yokes tonight. Lift burdens from off your people's shoulder tonight. Bring wisdom, the wisdom of God, knowledge and understanding. Bring direction, answer that prayer request. Heal that sick body, I pray. God, open the door, make a way for your people where there seems to be no way in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. You move mountains. You move mountains, sing it with me tonight. And you cause walls to fall with your power. Come on, church. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing. You made a way. Sing it. You made a way. You made a way. And we're standing here. And we're standing. You made a way. Sing it to him. You made a way. By God. You made a way. We're standing here. And we're standing here. Only because you move mountains. And you move mountains. Sing it to him. And you cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. Standing here only because you made you made a way. We love you tonight. You made a way. And we're standing here. You made a way. You made a way. 
glory to Jesus. We love you tonight, Master. And we're standing. You move mountains, and you move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. Standing here only because you made a way. You made a way. You made a way. We're standing here. And we're standing here only because you move mountains. And you move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. Standing here only because you made, you made a way. Sing it to him tonight. We love you tonight, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We glorify you tonight. Made a way, you made a way. Made a way Standing here You move mountains You move mountains You cause walls To fall With your power Glory to God tonight We're standing here Listen, I want to say this. Tonight is a night of restoration. Now the Holy Ghost is talking to a whole lot of you. And that's why this message tonight, as we go deeper into the service tonight, we're talking about restoration in God's plan. Listen, many of you, you need a restoration someplace in your life. Somewhere in your life, you have suffered a great loss. But I want you to know something tonight. We serve a God of restoration. David said, David said, He restores my soul. I just want everyone to type, This is my night of restoration. This is my night of restoration. Just lift your hands to heaven after you type those words. I feel an anointing of the Holy Ghost. Come on, just type it again. This is my night of restoration. My God, my God, my God. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here. Only because you made a way, you made a way. Sing it to him, church. You made a way. And we're standing here only because you move mountains. And you move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. Standing here, you made a way. You made a way. You made a way. And we're standing here. You move mountains. You move mountains. 
You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. Standing. You made a way. Come on and worship the Lord Jesus tonight. We're standing here. We're standing here. Listen, I want to say this again. Tonight is a night of restoration. Many of you, your restoration will begin tonight in the name of Jesus. Listen, there is an anointing for restoration. There is an anointing that the Holy Ghost release that God will begin to restore things to you that you have lost. But it's because you are in God's plan. Restoration is not going to happen outside the plan of God and outside the will of God. You have to be in the plan of God. And many of you are discovering and beginning to understand God's plan for your life. And tonight is a night of restoration. Broken hearts will be mended together tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is standing here only because you made a way you made a way. You, when my back was against the walls, and when my back was against the walls, it seemed as if it was over. You, my God, my God. Oh, you made a day that was standing. You move mountains, you move mountains. Lord, I worship you tonight. Restore your people tonight. Many of your people on this broadcast tonight have suffered great losses. Every last one of us have experienced losses in our walk with you some way or another. But I pray that that anointing of restoration would descend upon your people tonight, God, in a mighty way. Pour the Holy Ghost out. Restore your people tonight. Restore your people. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible for standing. You made a way, you made a way. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Yeah, you move mountains, you cause walls for with your power. Glory to God. There is nothing, my God, that's impossible. We're standing here. He made you. Because you made a way We're standing here Only because you made a way You We love you Lord Jesus You We're standing here Standing here You move mountains You move mountains You cause walls To fall With your power 
perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible for standing here only because you made a way we're standing here we're standing here only because you may be standing we're standing somebody type those words we're standing here we're standing here only because you may be standing we're standing we love you Jesus we're standing here we're standing here only because you made the standing, the standing, standing here, standing. We love you tonight. Standing, 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 standing. Yeah. Standing here, standing here. Shaba ba 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 no 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 Standing. Glory to God. Yeah, we're standing. Yeah, we love you, Jesus. Listen. You know, I hear these words loud and clear from the Holy Ghost. Someone with prostate cancer and cancer of the stomach, the Holy Ghost is drying that cancer out of your body right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it from out of your body. Prostate cancer and cancer of the stomach, I rebuke that foul devil tonight out of your body in the name of Jesus. We command every trace of that diabolic demonic cancer to vanish and loose its hold from off your body in the name of Jesus. We're standing. We're standing. We're standing. We're standing. We're standing. Oh, someone's getting a breakthrough right now. We're standing. We're standing. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you. We're standing. We're standing here. Gonna keep on standing for Jesus. We're standing here. Your grace is sufficient, Jesus. We're standing here. Only because you made a way. Come on and give him praise. Oh, come on and give him praise. Give him praise. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. God is able. God is able to do just what He said He would do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on the church. Don't give up on God, cause He won't. Cause He won't give up on you. Sing it. Cause He's able. Come on. Oh, 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 God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill tonight. He's going to fulfill every promise to you never give up on him tonight 
Don't give up on God Cause he won't Cause he won't Give up on you Sing it Cause he's able Oh come on Oh Oh, oh, oh. I don't know about you, but I love him tonight. Sing it. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Sing it to him tonight. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He is going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on my God. Don't give up on God. Sing it, church. Because he won't give up. He's able. Because he's able. Sing it with me. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody type in, he's able. Oh, oh, oh. oh. God is able. God is able to do just what he said. He would do. He's gonna fulfill tonight. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him, church. And don't give up on God. Cause he won't, cause he won't give up on you. Sing it, cause he's able. Oh, 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 oh. he's able, he's able. My God. God is able tonight. Glory to God. Sing it, he's able. Sing it. Because he's able. Sing it. He's able. 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 Sing it. Because he's able. Come on. He's able. My God. Let your fire fall tonight. Let it fall tonight. Let it fall tonight. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost descend on us. Let it fall, Jesus. Let it fall, God. Let it fall tonight. Oh, because he's able. He's able. He's able. God is able. God. He's able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him. Don't give up on God. Because he won't. Because he won't give up on you. Sing it. Because he's able. Oh, oh, oh. He's able, he's able, oh, 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 God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him, church. Don't give up on God, cause he won't, cause he won't give up on you, cause he's able, oh, 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 oh. we love you Jesus, we love you Lord, love you Jesus, yes, we love you Lord, we love you Jesus. We love you tonight, Master. Love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him. Don't give up on God, cause he won't, cause he won't give up on you, cause he's able, oh, 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 he's able, he's able, oh, 
God is able. God, we love you tonight. Glory to Jesus. We love you with everything in us tonight. We love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Because he's able. Give him a clap. Come on, give him a clap offering tonight. Give him a clap. Give him a clap tonight. He's worthy. He's worthy. You're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, Lord. Worthy, Lord. Come on, someone open your mouth and praise him. Just love on him. Just worship him. Yes. We love you tonight. Yes, we love you, Jesus. Glory to God. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, 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 we love you tonight. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Sing it, cause He will give up on you. Sing it, cause He's able. Oh, come on, church. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. He's able. Oh. Oh, 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 God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you because he's able oh 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 he's able he's able oh oh we love you jesus we love you tonight god Don't give up on God. Sing it. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Don't give up on God. Sing it again. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't give up. Don't give up on God tonight. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Cause he's able. Oh, sing it. Oh, 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 don't give up on God, sing it, don't give up on God, cause he won't, cause he won't, don't give up on God, don't give up on God, someone need to hear this tonight, the Holy Ghost talking to somebody, don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Don't give up on God tonight. Don't give up on. Someone type the words. I won't give up on God. Sing it. Don't give up on God tonight. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't. Give up on you. Cause he's able. Hey. Awesome God, awesome God, how great you are, how great thou art, you are God, and mighty are your miracles, 
we stand in awe of your holy name lord we bow lord we bow and worship awesome god awesome god we love you tonight how great my god my god you are god and mighty are your miracles we stand in awe of your holy name lord we bow and lord we bow and worship king of kings lord of lords king of kings lord of lords everlasting king savior redeemer king of kings He's awesome, awesome, he's awesome, my God is awesome, awesome God, how great, and awesome God, how great thou art, you are God, mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. And Lord, we bow and worship you. Awesome God. Awesome God. How great thou art. You are God. Mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. And Lord, we bow and worship. Awesome God, awesome God, how great thou art. You are God, mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. And Lord, we bow and worship. Holy are you, Lord, sing it to him. Holy are you, Lord. All creation call you God. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. We worship your majesty. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. All creation, all creation, we call you God. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name we worship your majesty we worship your majesty and awesome god come on give it everything you got tonight you are god you are god mighty are your miracles we stand in all your holy name and Lord we bow and worship awesome God awesome God how great thou art you are God mighty are your miracles we stand in all your holy name and Lord we bow and worship you Lord we bow Lord we bow and worship you I love you glory to God my God love you Forever with 
Let's sing it to him. I love you forever. I love you forever with all my heart. I love you. I love you forever. Forever. You're my king. My shelter forever, my shelter forever in time of storm. My shelter, my shelter forever, forever. You're my king. Come on, sing it to him. You're my shelter, my shelter forever in the time of storm. You're my shelter. Forever, you're my king. Your mercy forever. Your mercy forever shall follow me. Shall follow me. Sing it to him. Your mercy forever. Forever. You're my king. All the glory and the honor, all the glory and honor belong to you, my God. All glory and honor forever, you're my King. I love you forever. Make it personal. I love you forever with all my heart. I love you. I love you forever. Forever. You're my kid. I love you forever, Lord. Sing it. I love you forever with all my heart. With all my heart. I love you. I love you forever. Forever, you're my king. Come on and sing it to him. I love you forever with all my heart, with all my heart. I love you forever, 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 for my King. Jesus, I love you forever with all my heart. 
heart. I love you. I love you forever. Forever, you're my king. Forever, you're my king. Forever, you're my king. Is he your king tonight? Is he your king? Forever, you're my king. Come on and give him praise. Oh, come on and give him praise tonight, church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. Oh, glory to God, glory to God. Mighty God. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Mighty, 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 mighty God tonight, mighty God. Mighty, 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 mighty God. Glory to God. Don't you just love Jesus with everything in you tonight? Isn't our God phenomenal? Isn't our God awesome? <laughs> praise God, praise God. I want to receive this evening's offering for the work of the ministry, for the kingdom of God, for the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to take you tonight into a different scripture. I want to read Mark to you. Mark chapter 10, beginning at verse 28, down into verse 30. Amen. I want you to see this tonight. There are rewards. There are blessings. Pay attention to what I'm saying now. There are rewards and there are blessings for supporting the gospel of Jesus Christ. Did you hear what I say just now? There are rewards and there are blessings for supporting the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. No other reason. I, did you hear what I said? No other reason. It's based on your love for the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ and the preaching of the word of God is the dearest thing to the heart of God. Amen. You're not going to manipulate God by your giving. It has to be out of love for the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what it's about. Listen to what Peter, listen to this. This is Jesus and Peter in Mark 10, 28. Then Peter began to speak up. We've given up everything. We've given up everything to follow you, Peter said. I know exactly what he, Peter said, man, look, we're willing to forsake family, houses, land. We, we turn our back on everything for the sake of the gospel. And listen, yes, Jesus replied, I love this, and I assure you, this is Jesus talking, I assure you that everyone who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or property for my sake and for the gospel my sake and for the good news do you see that for my sake that's what it's about it's always connected to jesus you're giving you're paying tithe you're supporting the work of of god it has to be connected to the gospel of jesus christ if you are just giving to try to get something from god a 
apart from love for the gospel of Jesus Christ, you are playing the lottery. You are missing the boat. Your giving has to be connected to the gospel of Jesus Christ. It has to be. I hope you hear, I hope you're hearing me tonight. So he said, anyone who have given up father, mother, sisters, brothers, children, or property for my sake, for my sake, and for the gospel, watch, here comes the reward, will receive now in return a hundred times as many houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and property. It's coming with persecution, but you are going to be blessed and in the world to come eternal life. So Jesus said, because of your love and support of the gospel, these blessings will follow you. I'll provide houses for you. I'll give you property. I'll give you land. This is, this is the rewards of the gospel. He said in Luke chapter 6 verse 38, Jesus said, when you give, it's coming back to you. It's coming back to you. Good measure, press down, shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure you meet it will be measured to you again but you're not giving to manipulate God you're giving out of love and out of obedience to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and when you give out of these motives the Apostle Paul says God will look at your offering as a odor of a sweet smelling sacrifice and it will be acceptable and well pleasing to God then Paul goes on to say and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus that's the way it works it's based on the gospel that's it, nothing else. I said it's based on the gospel. Praise God. To sow your seed, give your offering, give your donation, you can visit us online right now at seanbinder.net forward slash give. seanbinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries you can also give through the ministry cash app account that address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries you can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. And God will bless you because of your love and support of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Sing it again, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name, for He has done great things, for He has done great things. Sing it to Him right now, and He has done great things we love you jesus for he has done great things bless his holy name 
sing it. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Sing it again. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless His holy. He has done great things, for He has done great things. He has done, He has done great things. Mighty God. For he has done great things. Bless his holy. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless the work of your people's hands. Bless the seeds, the offerings, the love gifts, the donations that they have given to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, the blessings of supporting the gospel, I pray that it would come on every one of them. I pray the blessings of God would come on them and overtake them. I pray that they would be blessed coming in, going out from the east, west, north and south. Bring increase, supernatural increase. Bring financial blessings into their lives. Bring favor, open doors, work things out, God, that only you can work out in their lives. In the name of Jesus we pray. Someone say amen. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Sing it with me tonight. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his Father, as we prepare to go into the Word of God tonight, we pray for supernatural wisdom. We pray for knowledge. We pray for understanding. We pray for breakthroughs. We pray for that wisdom that only heaven can grant and give tonight, God. Have your way. We say, Lord, not our will, but let your will be done. In the name of of Jesus Christ we pray. Someone say amen. Now on tonight we are talking about restoration in God's plan. Restoration, restoration in God's plan. Praise God. We are still on God's plan. It takes this, we could be on this topic for another couple of weeks. There's a lot of grounds to cover. I just, I just didn't want to rush through it because I wanted to take my time and park to help God's people. I felt the Holy Ghost stirred my heart to really take time out and just rest on this topic to help his people grasp it. Because when you understand that God has a plan for your life, and when you begin to understand that plan and when you begin to see how God work his plan out in other people's lives, what it does is it builds your faith. It strengthens you. It encourages you. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says these things happen for our learning and that we through the scriptures might have hope. So the Bible says the thing that the things that happened to the people in the Bible in the Old Testament and New, it happened for our learning and for our examples that you and I through the scriptures might have hope. So on tonight we are talking about restoration. Praise God. Restoration in God's plan. And every time the Holy Ghost give me a topic, I know it's something that is for his people.
people. The, so the word restoration means the act of, I'm using the dictionary here, the, I'm using the word dictionary. Restoration means the act of restoring something or someone to a satisfactory state. It's almost like to, re, to help you get something back that you have lost. And I know there's a whole lot of us on here tonight who would say, Pastor, I know what it is to suffer great losses. Some of you have been restored and some of you are believing God to be restored. So if you are if you are in that group that's believing God to be restored tonight, you are in the right place at the right time. Amen. So bef- before I jump into before I jump into uh, Genesis chapter thirty seven, that's where I'm going tonight. Before I jump into Genesis chapter thirty seven, I want to read the book of Joel chapter two verse twenty five. I'll read it from the King James version of the Bible, and then I will read it from the New Living Translation of the Bible. Listen to the book of Joel chapter two verse twenty five. God says, and this this always grabbed my attention, especially when I was a young Christian. I'm like, are you serious? Listen, God said, I and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the pama worm. So he said, I will restore to you the years that the locusts have stolen, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm. And if you read the book of Joel in its proper context, God had allowed certain things to happen to his people. And sometimes, in some cases, God allows certain things to happen so that his plan could be fulfilled. But what I want you to see is, God said, I will restore to you the years that you have lost. You know, that used to always puzzle me. I'm like, how on earth can God, how on earth can God give somebody back years that they have lost? I mean, if the years are gone, they are gone. How can God give something? How can God give years back to you? Listen, only God can talk like that because the Bible says in Luke one thirty seven, for with God, absolutely nothing shall be impossible. Now, let's, let's read Joel chapter 2 verse 25 from the New Living Translation of the Bible. The book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25 from the New Living Translation of the Bible. The Lord says, I will give you back what you lost what you lost to the swarming locust the hopping locust the stripping locust and the cutting locust god is saying i will give it back to you i will give back to you the years that you have lost <laughs> Only God can talk like this. I'll tell you that. And I believe somebody, someone's about to be restored tonight. Years that you have lost, stuff that you have lost, God's about to restore it back to you. Now watch this. I want to just give a couple examples here. So in the Bible, in the book of Job, in the book of Job, chapter 42, remember Job was, now we're we talking about Joseph, but I just have to mention Job. I have to mention David, and then we'll jump back into the life of Joseph, continuing with God's plan for your life. So in the book of Job, chapter 42, beginning at verse 10, remember Job, the enemy attacked him, and Job lost a whole lot, he, all of his, he lost, he lost seven sons and three daughters, my God. God, you talk about a man knowing it was to suffer loss. He was a businessman. He lost almost all of his employees, all of his product, which was his animals. He lost just about everything. And the Bible said, in all this, Job did not sin against God. He kept his integrity. That's my kind of man. And the Bible says in Job chapter 42, verse 10, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends 
also the Lord gave Job twice as much as what he had before. Everything. So we're talking about stuff now. God gave jo Job everything that he lost. God gave it back to him and God gave it back to Job double. I just dare somebody to type the words double for my trouble. God will give me double for my trouble. My God, my God. The man started out with a thousand oxen. He ended up with a thousand. Whatever he started out with, he had double by the time God got to the end of his life. One of my favorite preachers used to say, when the devil gets to mess in God starts blessing. So God will give you double for your trouble. Now watch this. So in the life of Job, we see God gave Job back twice as much as what he had before. We see a similar thing in the life of David. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, when the when the uh, Amalekites came in and they raided David's house, they raided his hometown, they stole, they carried off his wives and children. My God, and when David and his men came, the town had been burnt to the ground. That's enough to make a man lose his mind. But after they got done weeping, the Bible says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. My God, I just, there's somebody, type these words. Just say these words, encourage yourself. Sometimes you just got to encourage yourself in God. Sometimes there ain't nobody else there for you. You know, the Bible says, the Bible says, God have given us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Praise God. So sometimes you just got to encourage yourself in God. So we know what David did. David called the priest Ahimelech, and David and Ahimelech joined their faith together. And David said, I need to seek God. I need someone to touch and agree with me. And the Bible says when David cried out to God and said, look, am I going to get my family back? Am I going to get my stuff back? Am I going to catch up with the enemy? God answered David and said, pursue after the enemy for you will with out fail recover all do you see that in these men of god's lives in god's plans in god's plans there is a part of god's plan for restoration of things that you've lost so it happened in the life of Job. And the Bible says when David got that word from God in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 1 down through verse, verse 30, the Bible says David went after the enemy and David found him because he found someone who was able to take him to where the enemy was dancing and celebrating because of all the great spoil that they had taken from the land of Judah and from David's city. My God, the Bible says David descended on them with the help of God and he whooped them from sunrise to sunset. And at the end of that battle, the Bible says, and David recovered all. I just dare somebody to say, I'm about to recover all. I'm about, I'm about to recover. Come on, help me. Help me, somebody. Help me, help me, help me. Come on. J just say, I'm about to recover all. I'm about to get it all. My God, I feel a shout. I'm about to get it all back. Yeah, I feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> The God I serve, the God I serve, he knows how to give it back to you. I said the God I serve, he knows how to give it back to you. He might allow you to suffer some losses, but there comes a time in your life, in my life, where God will, he'll give it back to you. And he won't just give you back what you lost. He'll give you what you lost. And then time, he'll give you what you lost. He'll give you double for your trouble. Somebody shout, I'm about to get it back. I'm about to be restored. The devil had his time in my life. But I cried 
unto God with my voice and he heard my cry and I'm coming in to the plan of God for my life the part of God's plan where David said he restores my soul he anoint my head with oil my cup runs over somebody shout restoration begins tonight hey I feel the Holy Ghost hallelujah glory to God my God my God my God restoration begins tonight you are coming into the plan of now look now you got to realize this this series I'm preaching to you excuse me th th this is a prophetic word because the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is laying a outline of how he worked in the lives of other men of God so you and I could have a so that as we study the lives of these other men and women of God, the Holy Ghost uses that 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 life of that man of God in Scripture as a GPS to help us navigate or locate ourselves in the will of God. So we see with Job, we see God gave him his stuff back with. David, we see God gave him his stuff back. But according to Joel, Joel said, God won't just only give you stuff back. God will give you the years back that you have lost. And this part of this message is where I want to take you tonight in the plan of God to help you realize that God will give you years back. Watch this. I want to take you into the book of Genesis chapter 37 verses 2 through 4. And I want you to follow me close now in the word of God. Let's jump back into the life of Joseph. Genesis chapter 37 verses 2 through 4. The Bible says, this is the account of Jacob and his family. When Joseph was 17 years old, he often tended his father's flocks. He worked for his half-brothers, the sons of his father's wives, Billa and Zilpah. But Joseph reported to his father some of the bad things his brothers were doing. We may say Joseph had the gift of management, but some of us may call it he was a snitch. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now watch this. Now watch this. So this is the account of Jacob and his family. Joseph was 17 years old. Now watch this. Verse 3 says, he, Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other children because Joseph had been born to him in his own old age. So one day Jacob had a special gift made for Joseph, a beautiful robe. It was a coat of many colors, verse 4. But his brothers hated Joseph because their father loved him more than the rest of them. They couldn't say a kind word to him. And remember one day in Genesis 37 as Joseph were going to check on his brothers for his dad, these brothers say, all right, we got news for this so-called dreamer. We're going we gonna to get rid of him and we'll see what become of his dreams. So we know what happened. They stripped him of his coat of many colors. They threw him down in a pit. They sold him to the Ishmaelites who were, who were, who were traitors merchant traders who took him down to Egypt and sold him to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh. Now watch this. What I want you to focus on is I want you to realize that verse 2 says Joseph was 17 years old. So when Joseph was sold into slavery, when, when, when Joseph was sold into slavery, he was 17 years 
old. Now I'm about to make a point here. So Joseph and his father had a great relationship and he had that relationship with his father for 17 long years. Now I'm about to say something. It, this is why it is so crucial to be connected to the plan of God because Joseph was in God's plan. When you are in God's plan and you help God's plan and you yield to his plan so God can fulfill his plan in your life, God will in turn turn around and begin to bless you and restore you for allowing his plan and his purpose come coming to pass uh, because you yield to help his plan and purpose come to pass god will reward you for it this is why the bible says seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you now i know some of you may be thinking well pastor where are you going with this i'm going somewhere with this so we see here that joseph had 17 years at the beginning of his life to be with his father Jacob and bam Joseph was snatched away sold as a slave <clears throat> excuse me he was sold as a slave by his brothers but the book of Joel the first scripture I read to you guys the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25 said God will restore to you the years that were stolen from you so and I'm making a point now Joseph was with Jacob 17 years before he was sold as a slave into Egypt they had been separated for a long time but he had 17 years with his father at the beginning of his life now let's let's move on let's go into genesis chapter 46 verse 28 through 30 as we see jacob and joseph reunite that's after joseph had been in egypt now for 22 years jacob joseph had been promoted on the pharaoh for interpreting his dream the famine is so severe that his brothers and his father all the way in canaan are being affected by this famine and now joseph and now jacob sends joseph brothers down to egypt to buy bread and they're going down there not even knowing that Joseph their brother that they sold into slavery is the governor over all Egypt when you are in the plan of God what somebody else may mean to harm you God will cause it work together for your good and this is why the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know that all things it works together for good to those who love God who are called according to his purpose the word purpose right there is translated plans are you listening to me so if you are called according to the plan of God I don't care how hard they fight you I don't care how hard they come against you I don't care how they lie on you I don't care what they do to hurt your feelings they may try to cause you to lose your job fight against your marriage fight against your relationship with your children but at the end of the day we know that all things it works to good for those who love God to them that are called according to his purpose somebody shout it somebody type it up it's working together for my good it's working together it's working together my God is working together now watch this. So this brings us to Genesis chapter 46, verse 28 through 30. The Bible says, now Joseph and his father is about to reunite. He's already revealed himself to his brothers. You've heard that in some of the other messages I've shared. And now the moment has come for Joseph, who had spent 17 years of his life with a father who loved him, mentored him, and taught him how to be a leader. And that 17 years was snapped away from him he was sold at the age of 17 years so now we got to follow the story closely because we about to 
see where God is going to give this man his 17 years back with his dad. I'm preaching to somebody here tonight. Somebody have lost some time with your family because of the lies and the plots and the schemes of the devil. But because you have allowed God's plan to be fulfilled through your life, because your life was surrendered to God, you help God's plan come to pass. Now God is about to turn the tables in your favor. God's about to bless you because you helped his plan. God is about to do something special for you because you sought first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And now all these things will be added unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Somebody shout, restoration begins tonight. My God. God, my God, my God. Now watch this. So the Bible said as they neared their destination, Jacob sent Judah ahead to meet Joseph and get directions to the region of Goshen. And when they finally arrived there, Joseph prepared his chariot and traveled to Goshen to meet his father, Jacob. When Joseph arrived, he embraced his father and wept, holding him for a long time. Time. They had been separated for 22 years, but the 17 years that Jacob and Joseph first spent together, that thing was about to be restored. And when Jacob and Joseph embraced one another, he began to weep. I mean, they just wept and wept and wept because the, he, Jacob thought Joseph was dead. Joseph was alive. He had the wealth. He had the money. He had the wherewithal to go back and look for his his father and his brothers, but God would not allow him to do it because it would have hampered God's plans and God's purpose for their lives. Think about it. How, why didn't God tell Jacob that Joseph was alive? He, he couldn't do it. God have to keep a tight lip sometimes so that his plans for our lives can be fulfilled without any interruption. Now watch this. Verse 30, Jacob, finally Jacob said to Joseph, now I am ready to die since I have seen your face again. I know you are still alive. No, no, no. You can't die now. You can't die now, old Jacob. You can't die now. Uh-uh. Me and you spent 17 good years together. My, the 17 years that I had with you was, was snatched away from me. I need God to restore those years back to me some way, somehow. Now, here we go. Let's jump into Genesis chapter 47, verse 27 through 31. My God, I don't know about you, but I love my Bible. Watch this. Let's go into Genesis chapter 47, verses 27 through 31. The Bible says now, so Jacob, Jacob and all of his children, which were the brothers and in-laws and everything of Joseph, had now settled into Egypt. They are now living there. The Bible says, Genesis 47, 27 through 31. Meanwhile, the people of Israel settled in the region of Goshen in Egypt. There they acquired property and they were fruitful and their population grew rapidly. All of this happened because Joseph was in the plan of God. Are you ready for what I'm about to read to you? Watch this. So we see with Job, God gave him stuff back. With David, God gave him stuff back. With Joseph, God's about to give him his years back. Now watch this. Watch this. Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter 47 verse 28. The Bible says, Jacob lived for 
17 years after his arrival in Egypt. So his total lifetime was 147 years. But what I want you to see is Jacob lived, my God, help me preach here somebody, he lived for 17 more years when he got down to Egypt. You got to understand that when God says he'll restore the years that the caterpillar and the canker worm and the locust and the palmer worm have stolen from you. God will. He'll give it back to you. When Joseph was sold into slavery, he was 17 years old. It means that Joseph and Jacob, they spent 17 good years together. They had been separated for 22 years. But my God, Joseph was believing God to give him the years back that he once had with his father. And after they reunite, God allowed Jacob and Joseph to spend another 17 years back together. I'm talking about a God that will restore back to you the years that the caterpillar have taken from you. I stop by the preacher to somebody under my voice. God want me to tell you your restoration begins tonight. You are in the plan of God. You are in the will of God. You are in God's purpose. And there is an anointing of restoration. It's beginning tonight in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, my restoration begins tonight. It begins tonight. Sunday. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He gave him his 17 years back. He gave it back to him. I said he gave him the years back. that he lost with his father. Is there anything too hard for God? I really love you, Lord. My God, I feel it tonight. Come on, move fast. Oh, oh, oh. Sing it. I really love you, Lord. Sing it to him. I really love you, Lord. And we sing, oh, oh, oh. I really love you, Lord. I really love you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. I really love you, Lord. I really love you. Listen, your restoration begins tonight. I said your restoration begins tonight. At the beginning of his life, he spent 17 years with his father. When Jacob made it into Egypt, God allowed him to live 17 years. God gave him the time back that he lost with his son Joseph. I tell you, when I was reading that this week and the Holy Ghost lit that scripture after me, I just about jumped up my skin. I was so excited to see it. And God is not a man that he should lie. He said it. I will restore back to you the years that you've lost. Only God only God can give you years back that you've lost. I really love you, Lord. And we sing, oh, oh, oh. 
I really love you, Lord. Listen. Listen here. I want to spend the next several minutes praying for you. What is it? What is it that you want God to restore back into your life? I want to pray for you tonight. I want to take the next 10 minutes to pray for you. What is it that you want God to restore back into your life? This is, this is the time. Submit your prayer request. Because as you see with Joseph and Jacob, nothing is too hard for God. What do you want God to restore back into your life? What is it? Where do you need restoration to begin in your life? Oh, oh. I really love you, Lord. I really love you, Lord. And we sing, oh, oh, oh. I really love you, Lord. What is it you need him to restore? Healing by marriage. Finances. Issues to be restored. A lost husband. I see a lot of marriage coming up tonight. I really love you, Lord. I really love you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. I really love you, Lord. You know, a lot of you are saying, Lord, restore my marriage. And I'll just share this. If you feel like the word is for you, take it and run with it. There was a older lady back in Freeport, Bahamas, before I left to go to Bible school. When I first got saved, she was a good friend of mine's. Her husband, her and her husband had been separated he had left her for another woman. For 16 years, he left her and her two daughters. And this woman had, she had some, she had some serious faith, man. She would always say, my husband is coming back. Man, she got more patience than Job. She said, my husband's coming back. She said, God told me he's coming back. I'm not letting him go. I'm not giving up on my marriage. Well, she clung to the word of God. And after 16 years, he left that woman out of that adulterous relationship. And he returned and asked for forgiveness. And he reunited with his wife, who was a friend of mine. That story, that, listen. That just boggles my mind at the mercy and the grace of God. Brought him back a good man. And saved that man's soul. Restored that marriage back. Not, is there anything too hard for God tonight? Is there anything too hard for God? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your people on tonight we join our faith especially the ones tonight there's a strong request for marriages to be restored tonight father god i pray for those marriages tonight god i pray that you would bring unity i pray that you would bring restoration get a hold of that husband that walked away get a hold of that wife that have walked away from that God-ordained marriage that marriage that's in line with scripture reunite that marriage God Lord you said in your word if we ask anything in the name of Jesus you'll do it tonight we ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you restore marriages God, men together, broken hearts, misunderstanding, hurts, pain from being betrayed and, and walked out on just the pain. 
the brokenheartedness. Bring healing tonight in those areas in people's lives. Emotions and just the mind just traumatized and scarred and wounded. Bring healing tonight, God. You are the Lord, our healer tonight. We lift up every other request before you tonight. God, bring restoration in the area of health, in the area of finances, in the area of other relationships with family members, employees and bosses. Bring unity, God. God, we call on you. You said in your word, if any two of us shall come in agreement as touching anything that we ask on this earth, it shall be done for them by my Father which is in heaven. We come in agreement tonight, Lord. Do it. Nothing is too hard for you. Nothing is impossible with you. Hear our cry tonight. Answer every prayer request that is submitted on this live broadcast tonight on the rebroadcast whoever submitted hear their cry and answer that prayer God in the name of Jesus we pray mighty God mighty God you are tonight mighty God restoration restoration begins tonight your restoration begins tonight your restoration come on just say it make it personal say it. my restoration begins tonight my restoration begins tonight in the name of Jesus restoration with in-laws I agree with every single one of you relationships between brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus between parents and children in the name of Jesus restoration restoration in Jesus name glory to God glory to God glory to God listen there is another call I have to make tonight you may not be saved you may not yet have surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus and the greatest restoration that can take place in anyone's lives is when we receive forgiveness of sins when we are reunited back with God our Heavenly Father he loves you tonight the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life if you are not a born-again Christian if you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus if you haven't made that commitment tonight is your night to make that commitment and without any further hesitation I want you to pray that prayer after me Lord Jesus I am a sinner I'm asking you to forgive me of all of my sins tonight wash me in your blood I believe that you are the Son of God I believe you were crucified on the cross of Calvary they buried you in a borrowed tomb and on the third day God raised you from the dead wash me in your blood forgive me of all of my sins Jesus I receive your forgiveness and thank you for saving my soul and writing my name down in the Lamb's book of life if you prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart let me and Pastor Amy be the first to say to you welcome into the kingdom of God your sins have been forgiven I want you to type in the live chat right now I've just surrendered my life to Jesus type right now we want to give a shout out to you we want to give a shout out to you who have just surrendered your life to Jesus because we know that's what this is about this is about the salvation of souls 
Jesus said it out of his own mouth, I came to seek and save that which was lost. Singing with me tonight. Oh, I surrender all, all to thee, all to thee, my blessed Savior. Just get it ready. I surrender all. Sing it with me tonight. Oh, I surrender all. God bless you, Shanique. I surrender all. Angel, God bless you. Jenny, God bless you. Andre, God bless you. I surrender. Sophia, God bless you. God bless you, Gerald. God bless you, Mary. Lodisha, God bless you. God bless you, Aldrin. Welcome into the kingdom of God. Natasha, welcome into the kingdom. Patricia, Alana, welcome. Jacqueline, welcome into the kingdom. Phyllis, and welcome into the kingdom. I surrender. Sing it. All right. Margaret, welcome into the kingdom tonight. Sharice, welcome. All right. Jennifer, welcome. Ebony. All to thee. All to thee, my blessed Savior. Olive Anderson, welcome into God's kingdom. Waveney, welcome into the kingdom. Rose, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, heaven is rejoicing tonight. All to thee. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender. Justice, welcome. Donna, welcome. Isaiah, welcome into the kingdom. They're all, I surrender all. Oh, I Praise God, praise God. Listen, we will, be, we will be at Journey Church. We will be at Journey Church in Farmington. And God bless you. Amit, God bless you. Welcome into the kingdom. We will be at Journey Church in Farmington, New Mexico next month on February the 9th. Service times at 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. We will be there for two meetings that's with Pastor David and Pastor Kathy Flores they helped out very they did a great job at helping us when we were in Farmington for that miracle service they did a great job so I want you to take a look at this commercial and we'll be back Pastor Sean Pinner invites you to two special meetings at Farmington New Mexico get ready to be empowered with the preaching of the gospel uplifted with anointed worship and usher into the presence of God. Be impacted with the life-changing manifestation of the Holy Spirit and witness the miraculous healing power of God. God's getting you ready to show you a side of himself that you have never seen before. Experience the ministry of Pastor Sean Pinner at the Journey Church, February 9, 2020 at 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. For more information, call 505-320-9190. Come expecting to receive your miracle. See you there. It's here, the book we've been waiting for. Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us. A complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. 
and discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Awesome God, our God is good. How great thou art. You are God. You are God. Sing it. Mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe. Come on. Of your holiness. Lord, we bow and worship. Sing this with me before we leave tonight. Awesome. Awesome God. How great. How great. How are you are God. You are God. And mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow and worship. So, saints, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, want to say to all of you, we love all of you so much. We, we, we bless you tonight. And we say, remember, there is restoration in God's plan. There is restoration in God's plan for your life. He loves you with an everlasting love. And better days are just ahead. Never forget, we love all of you. We appreciate you greatly. We don't take you for granted. And just before we leave tonight, can you let us know where you are tuning in from on tonight? Let us know the name of your city, the name of your country, where you're watching this broadcast from tonight. We just want to give a shout out to all of you. We are just grateful that many people tune in from around the world. And we want to acknowledge you and let you know we appreciate all of you. We don't take you for granted at all. We don't take you for granted. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We want to give a shout out to you. And mighty are your men. Because standing on. Holy name, Lord, we bow and worship. Queens Village, New York, Costa Rica, Miami, Canada, Jamaica, Atlanta, Georgia, Miami, Massachusetts, Boynton Beach, the UK, Maryland, Nassau, Bahamas, Jacksonville, Florida, Wisconsin, the Cayman Islands, Virgin Islands, Freeport, Bahamas, United Arab Emirates, Jamaica, London. Detroit, Trinidad, Houston, Texas, Colorado, all right, Atlanta, Birmingham, Alabama, Virgin Islands again. Oh, my man, there's a lot of you. Nassau, Bahamas, Philadelphia, come on. Commonwealth of Dominica, Delaware, Guyana, South America, Texas in the house. Praise God. Covington, Louisiana. I will be coming to Louisiana. I'm coming to Louisiana, Georgia, I'm going down there to Port St. Lucie, Florida, and I'm going to New York this year. I believe I'm going to Jamaica as well. Listen, we love all of you, uh, Ohio in the house, Curacao, <laughs> there's so much of you I can barely keep up with it. We love all of you so much, we don't take you guys for granted, we really don't. You, for, you are here from all around the world. India is in house. All of you wonderful people. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Listen, we love all of you. Brandon, Manitoba. All right. Rosenberg, Texas. We love all of you. God bless you. St. Lucia is here. New Mexico. All right. See you at that meeting now. We love all of you. God bless all of you. We'll see you again on Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uganda is in the house, Nigeria, the Netherlands, all right, Kenya, <laughs> amen, Barbados, St. Vincent, God bless all of you, yes, I'm coming to New York, I've got to, I owe it to New York, Lafayette, Louisiana is in the house, God bless all of you, love you, God bless you, go walk in that restoration, we stand in awe of your holy name, 
of your holy name.